Let's take a look at Math Grade 4, Module 5, Lesson 16, Fraction Equivalents, Ordering, and Operations. Topic D, Fraction Addition and Subtraction. So let's begin by just thinking about 5 minus 4. What is it that we're subtracting when we just say 5 minus 4? Well, sometimes it might be in a word problem where we have 5 apples and we subtract 4 of them or we have five dogs and four of them run away. In this case, when we just look at five minus four, what we're doing is we're saying that we have five ones and we're subtracting four of those ones. Five ones minus four ones is equal to one one. Let's look at an example of this. We're gonna use a number line and we're going to say, okay, we're starting at 5. So what we'll do is we will mark our number line at the 5 mark. And say, okay, here's 5. Now we're subtracting 4. So when we subtract 4, what we're actually doing is we're moving backwards on our number line. Sort of like this. So we go from 5 past one, two, three, four marks on our number line and we end at one. Well the same would be true if we were subtracting fraction amounts. If we were subtracting six, for example. If we had five sixths and we took away four sixths, we would have one sixth left over. So let's look at that on a number line. It's going to work the same way. I have 5 sixths, so I'm going to mark that on my number line. And I would jump back 4 places, and I would land at 1 sixth. Let's try another one. Let's try 7 eighths minus 3 eighths. And let's show this on our number line. So here I have a number line, and I have it broken up into eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So zero eighths is going to be here, because this would be where zero is. And on this one, eight eighths would be here, because this would be where one hole would be. So the middle of it is going to be four eighths because four is half of eight. So now I have to think where seven eighths would be. Well seven eighths would be here right next to eight eighths. So I'm going to put a dot to mark seven eighths. Now I'm going to start at that seven eighths mark. So I would move backwards one eighth, two eighths, 3 eighths. So 7 eighths, which is where this is, minus 3 eighths would be 4 eighths. Let's just try one where we subtract using unit language. If I write this out as 7 sixths minus 2 sixths, the answer would be 5 sixths. Let's think about this one. 10 sixth minus 2 sixth. If I had 10 of something and I subtracted 2, I would have 8 left over. So in this case, it would be equal to 8 sixth. But let's talk about 8 sixth for a minute. In this fraction, the numerator is larger than the denominator. That means that I have one whole and some parts. So I can think about it in number bond form. I can think about my whole as being 8 sixth, and one of the parts is 6 sixth, and the other part is 2 sixth. Because 6 plus 2 is 8. So this would be one whole and 2 sixth. So my answer would be 1 and 2 sixth. Let's try this one. 
9 fifths minus 3 fifths. Well, if I think about having 9 of something and I subtract 3 of them, that would leave me with 6 of whatever it was left over. If I had 9 paper clips and I took 3 paper clips away, I would have 6 paper clips. In this case, I have 9 fifths. I'm taking 3 fifths away, so I will have 6 fifths left over. So 6 fifths, I can see that if I had 5 fifths, I would have one whole. So that 5 fifths is equal to 1. And then the other part would be 1 fifth, because 5 fifths plus 1 fifth equals 6 fifths. So 6 fifths is equal to 1 whole and 1 fifth. And we can write that as a mixed number, 1 and 1 fifth. Okay, so earlier in this lesson, we used a number line that showed 6 sixths on it. And it showed that we had 5 sixths, and we subtracted 4 sixths, and we got 1 sixth. Well, I want to show you this. If we had 1 sixth plus 4 sixths, what would it equal? So, I'm going to mark that I have 1 6, so I'm going to put my little dot here, and I'm going to jump 4 6, so that would be 1 6, 2 6, 3 6, 4 6. So here is where I will end up, which is 5 6. So in the first example, 5 6 minus 4 6 equaled one-sixth. In the second example, one-sixth plus four-sixth equals five-sixth. All right, that's going to take care of things for lesson 16, where we've been working to use visual models to add and subtract two fractions with the same units.